Hello, this is Ray from r, &R Golf in Quincy, Illinois, and this is brand new golf balls to 2014 Srixon Marathons. Uh, normally they're $15.99, now you can buy two dozen, two for $25 here at r, &R Golf. My guest today, Bradley Valerius, he has written a book, Illinois' Medical Marijuana Law, a practical guide for everyone, but more importantly, you are going to uh, tell the local folks uh, here in Quincy uh, about how this law can affect them and uh, you're going to be making a presentation here coming up on May 4th. That's correct. I and actually a lot of other professionals from the local community are going to be presenting information about medical cannabis and the medical cannabis law. Um, uh, we're going to be covering the issues for patients and physicians obviously but there's a lot of issues also that the general public may not be aware of. For example, small businesses and employers may uh, be concerned that some of their workers can obtain medical cannabis and then go to the workplace. Um, employers will want to know what kind of protections they may have against their employees becoming impaired and causing accidents that they may be liable for. Well, our forum is going to address some of those things. And you're also going to talk about the different ways that medical, med medical marijuana can be consumed and, and, and the uses for it, correct? Yes, that's correct. There is a lot of products out on the market uh, in some of the already regulated states that's much more than just the, uh, the leaves or the flowers, if you will, for smoking. Some of the other products include hashes, oils, ointments, serums, tinctures, sodas, even Edibles, such as brownies and cookies, are quite popular. You also talked about uh, vaporizing as opposed to smoking too, correct? Sure. Vaporizing is a much healthier alternative to smoking it because you heat the plant matter to a temperature that it's high enough for the active ingredients to escape, but you're, you're not burning the plant and combusting all those hazardous materials. What's, uh, what's the potential economic impact this could have to our community? Well, there's a lot of job creation potentially if one or more of the licensed entities are located here. The law is going to create 21 new cultivation centers. That's the place where the cannabis plants will be grown, but also turned into the medicine and the edibles. Uh, a facility like that will create around 30 jobs and bring in lots of tax revenue. There's also a dispensary uh, the new law is creating 60 of those, and that's the place where patients can purchase the medical cannabis. Uh, that'll probably create 15 to 20 jobs, a facility like that. Talk a little bit about the, the you and the other folks who are going to be with you here uh, for this presentation coming up on Sunday. Uh, well, we are... Um, we all are very knowledgeable about the particular subjects we'll be carrying, talking about. I, for example, am going to give a broad overview of uh, the law as it applies to the cultivation centers and the dispensaries. A pharmacist and a doctor are going to take on some of the issues related to administering cannabis in a healthcare facility, the different types of medical cannabis products, the different types of conditions for which it may be effective. And, uh, and, and I, I think one of the one of the very fascinating things that you you touched on uh, briefly was uh, not only the medic not only the patient's rights but also as you said the employer's rights if you have a patient who has to go back to work and is using uh, medical marijuana. Yes, and we have uh, a lawyer who's going to address those subjects. And it's not just the employer-employee relationship that's going to be put under a new kind of strain. There's also the university-student relationship and the landlord-tenant relationship. What I mean by that is uh, a landlord in a university cannot discriminate, discriminate against a person solely on their basis of being a cardholder. Okay. And again, this, this is free to the public, and it's coming up uh, Sunday, May 4th at 6 o'clock, correct? That's correct. And it's going to be at the Oakley Lindsay Center, correct? At the Oakley Lindsay Center. All right. Well, uh, thank you for your time, and we'll look forward to hearing more on uh, Sunday, May 4th. Thanks a lot, Bob.